hair. Um, I'm already dressed because I'm kind of rushing, but I'm just going to do hair, makeup, and a fragrance. I'll still show you guys the outfit a little bit. It's literally just this um, blue dress, and it has this little hoodie on it, which is just too cute. Um, so yeah, I'm about to curl my hair and talk to you guys. Um, so I feel like I have not like been able to really talk to you guys in a while. Like I feel like I haven't really been recording because life has just been like lifing in a good way. Um, it's so funny because literally earlier before I got back to um, my sister's house, I was literally crying in the car and I was just like, I was thinking about something one of my friends said on my Miami trip and she was just saying how like proud of me she is because of like, she was just saying how she's proud of me that I actually like took time out and kind of isolated from everybody because she was saying how like for years I was just always giving and doing for other people and like helping other people out with their lives and helping other people out with their careers and I feel like I just got to the point where I was just burnt out from life and people that like the past year I've just kind of been taking a break to myself and I feel like I got like some slack from that from some friends or I lost some friends over that so to hear her like see me well to experience her like actually seeing me and understanding me and just I don't know just being seen just felt so amazing and I was just thinking about that and um I was just I was like oh I want to talk about this like having friends that see you is so important and just um cultivating your tribe is so important I'm planning on doing a video of like um 30 things I learned before I turned 30 because I don't know y'all I've been 30 for six days and even within the six days, I've learned so much about myself and about life and just people and relationships and friendships. And I don't know, I feel so much more just mature and aware and just open and just free. Like, I feel so free. It don't make no sense. Like, I feel like I'm, I'm like really at a place where I'm not like too stressed out or too worried or too concerned or trying or just you know stressing about other people and just stuff i'm just i'm free i'm living my life how i want to live my life on my own terms and it just feels amazing like not to be <laughs> such a people pleaser it's so weird it's like i used to be a ple people pleaser but i'm also just a very generous like person like a very kind generous person and I don't even want to say that I've ever been a pe people pleaser because I don't feel like I've ever did anything to like necessarily please anyone I just like to see people happy so if, if, if it's any way I can help anyone in my life um towards their goals or whatever I always like try to help them but looking back at it I needed to definitely help my damn self first and I'm learning that like one of my friends was like Yanni like you gotta learn how to fill your cup first and I'm really learning that like learning how to be a little selfish and it's taken me it's like so weird like if you're a very generous person or if you're a people pleaser to go from that to like being selfish like telling people no or like <laughs> not showing up for people how you want to like literally just to protect yourself and your energy and your peace it's a hard transition like i wish it was easy people that are just like selfish and they just live their lives like for it like completely 100 percent for themselves i'd be like kind of jealous of that sometimes because i'm like how do y'all do that <laughs> like how all right i'm kind of backwards because i wanted to put my lashes on uh, first so I was letting this glue get a little tacky so I'm gonna go ahead and put my lashes on but yeah I'll be like dang how y'all do that and it's weird because I feel like selfish people be like oh they wish they had like a really kind given heart or they wish they were like more generous and it's just so weird like I feel like for the longest I never cared about reciprocation until like now until I got a little older and I'm like hold on wait a minute so you telling me I can be kind and generous and just do all this stuff for you or be there for you or show it for people. But like when it's time for me, it's given 
crickets. <laughs> so I think just after years of that, I just learned like, no, like I want mutually beneficial relationships. I want mutually be beneficial friendships. Like I want equally yoked connections and that means if i'm a certain way if i'm generous if i'm caring if i show up for you if i you know consider your feelings with certain things like i just expect that in return and i feel like now that i have been kind of going that route and thinking like that things have been much better like i feel like i'm way more at peace um and i'm just way more calm I used to be so like, um, don't get me wrong, I feel like I'm still like kind of an emotional person or I can be. I always, I'm not going to lie, if you guys are in, in astrology, I always blame it on my Cancer Moon because I'm a Cancer Moon, well I'm a Sag Sun, Cancer Moon, Leo Rising. So I'd be telling my best friend, I'd be like, girl, I guess God had to had, add some balance in there because... Between the Leo rising and the Sag sun, I really don't care about a lot of stuff. Like when I say I don't care, like I can be very nonchalant and very cold at some at some point. And not not to say that I'm just like a mean person. I'm not a mean person, but like some stuff is just never that deep for me. Like it's just never that deep. Like I genuinely think some people just take life too serious. And maybe I don't take life serious enough, but I feel like you only get one life. So you stressing out and not communicating and doing certain things to make your life more difficult girl it's really not that deep <laughs> nine times out of ten a lot of the stuff we stress out about or worry about is never that deep so i just learned how to give to god okay i'd be like god if i start stressing about something i'd be like god you know what can you handle this because i ain't got the time okay i don't have the bandwidth <laughs> it's just not giving but um, I'm headed to lunch with one of my friends, Bianca. And it's so funny because I feel like me and her have been like going back and forth on like actually trying to like um, hang out ever since um, really the last time I seen her. What was the last time I seen B? Um, dang, I don't even know the last time. I feel like it was the, um, the screening, the show that I did. Well, the mini film that I did makeup on because she's a producer. She works in film um so she be really busy okay my sister be getting to her big bag her bitcoin <laughs> um so i'm so proud of her because she be so busy and i just love that for her and um we finally because i was supposed to try to um meet up with her when she was well, she actually came to la when i was in la but we didn't have time our schedule didn't align for us to meet there so i'm so excited to actually meet um her here and speaking of friends like y'all my social circle like my friend group now is amazing like I feel like it's something that I like always prayed for and I just feel so blessed I would have never in a million years thought that I would have this type of social circle where like all my friends are just like like me <laughs> not like me as far as like personality i mean most of them kind of are but just like me in the sense of morals and values and the value of friendship the value of sisterhood the value of like being there for one another not being selfish helping each other out um having each other back like i really prayed for the friends that i have now and i'm so blessed to just have like uh, an amazing 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 friend group so shout out to all my friends okay so we're gonna go in with some foundation i'm gonna do it like a kind of slight light beat i don't want nothing too crazy because we're really just going to lunch but i just wanted to film and talk to you guys like i think i think because like i've been like taking a break from social media i think uh oh so I was saying because I um have been taking a break from social media, I feel like now, I don't know, like I kind of miss it to the point like I'm like, okay, I kind of feel like I feel a little more free and less like I feel like I was getting into a rut of just like trying to make my content perf perfect instead of like just being me and being the content like I used to when I first started. Um, so yeah i want to start doing just like get ready with me these just where i'm talking about life like and that's another thing 
I never really was like, I never really was like a vlog girl. So y'all, first off, this concealer is so bomb. I've had it before, but I didn't like the color. The color was too warm. Alrighty y'all, so I was saying, I put my contour on right there, but I was saying like the color was too warm, so I let my best friend have it and it looks so good on her. Like if you watched um, my vlogs when I was in LA and I did her makeup, it was literally gorgeous. Like it looked literally perfect on her. Um, Cause she has a more warmer complexion. I have the shade Flax and it just looks so much better on me because it's a more like neutral. And I have a more olive complexion, so neutrals, look better on me when it comes to like picking out my shades um so yeah i had to get um another one in flax so i'm actually able to actually use it and try it on my skin and it just looks amazing um so we are going to get hibachi and sushi and y'all oh y'all first off me and my mom literally stumbled across the best sushi place in atlanta like it's called Fu uh Fre fredo Fudo or something like that. Um, it's so amazing. I'll leave it down below or it's probably in my last vlog. Um, but yeah, so um, And yeah. Alrighty y'all, I'm sitting with Laura Mercier Honey. And y'all, I miss this powder. I haven't used this powder in so long. I got it when I was in Miami. And if you watch my Miami vlog, girl, it looks so good. Like my makeup looks so good oh all weekend and it stayed with the humidity and the heat and it was just flawless woke up flawless um okay we're almost done here y'all i love me a quick like 10 or 15 minute beat down it just looks so good so flawless every single time i'm using charlotte tearberry oh Y'all, my alarm was going off so bad. Um, I'm going to have to turn my light down. I got this light on my camera. And it's making my makeup look way brighter than what it is. But I'll show you guys. It'll look better in a second. So, bronzer. Ooh, this bronzer is just so pretty. Hits every time. Every time. My favorite, favorite, favorite blush from Pat McGrath in, um, I think this is in Divine Rose. Y'all, look, it's so pretty. It just looks so good and it lasts so long. Alrighty, y'all, so I line my brows at the bottom and I just flick it up in the front like halfway. And then when I get to the arch, I just start filling it in, creating a shape. And I, this is why I like doing my brows last because it literally takes me like 30 seconds. And I like a really like fluffy, like natural looking brow. I don't like to really take my time with my brows no more. I like them to look kind of fluffy and messy because I don't know. I feel like they just look more natural that way. I don't really take my time like I used to and make them like super perfect and sharp. Like I just do what I need to do and I just kind of blend it out because I don't. I don't know. I don't like it to be too crazy. Um, and that's it. I'm going to brush out the hair just with my brush. And then we're going to put it on lips. And then we're going to head out the door. Oh, i got to show you guys some fragrance. Alrighty, y'all. Alrighty, y'all. So for lips, I'm going in with the Makeup Forever Limitless Brown. Which is literally my favorite lip liner of all time. I love this stuff. Like it's just, it's so bomb. I feel like it just looks good on everybody because it's a cool tone brown. Max Chestnut, which a lot of people like, it's a more warmer brown. It doesn't look good on everybody in my opinion. Um, I'm gonna go in with this Dior Gloss. They don't sell this anymore, so I'm sorry for ya. I'm sorry, but I love it, it's so pretty. So for fragrance today, I will be wearing Dossier. So shout out to Dossier for sponsoring today's video. They actually sent me over four, well, three fragrances. 
So the first one that I'm actually going to be wearing is Fruity Ock Moss. And I'll get to this one in a second. But let me talk to y'all. <laughs> let me talk to y'all about the other two. So Dossier is basically a luxury perfume company that does inspired perfumes by some of your favorite luxury brands like uh, Creed, MFK, um, Chanel. <laughs> They do a lot and they fragrances smell so good. I always get so many compliments on their fragrances. Um, so this one that they sent me is Woody Ockmoss. So Woody Ockmoss is inspired by Coco Chanel. And baby, it smells so good. My sister wore it the other day. I said, girl, what's that? Uh, this one, I love Coco Mademoiselle. And this is very, very close. I would give the Coco Mademoiselle probably about a 99. Like, it's super duper close. And the thing about Dossier, it allows you to get some of your favorite luxury perfumes with literally a fraction of the price. They're actually having a holiday sale right now that's up to 45% off. And some of their fragrances are as low as $15.95. So, girl, you need to run to the site. And I also have a 5% code for you to get five percent off so i will leave that down in the description box down below the next fragrance i got is called floral sandalwood this is inspired by Maison Frances emirates so the floral sandalwood has notes of pear um, must amber sandalwood it's kind of like a clean warm scent which i love but my all-time favorite dossier perfume this is literally my third one this is called fruity akmas this is inspired by creed adventures for her and it's so close so close and y'all i always get compliments on this one like people especially men love when i have this on every time i have this on people are like oh what's that girl what's that what you got on you smell good and it's literally typically always this so we're gonna be wearing this today this one has green apple bergamot lemon peach rose musk patchouli sandalwood y'all it's like literally delicious it smells so good if you don't if you don't get anything definitely get this one i said it in one of my last like get ready with me's and a lot of y'all bought it and said it smelled good i even spray it on my wigs when i <laughs> shift them off and i sell wigs and y'all always be like, Yanni, what's on this wig? It still smells so good. Y'all, this, okay? This. <laughs> so, okay, we're gonna go ahead and head out. This is basically the finished look. Really quick, little 10 minute get ready with me with the fragrance, little outfit. And I hope you guys enjoy this video. I'll leave everything you need to know down in the comment section down below. And y'all, I'm hot. <laughs> I'm hot. You know, when you be rushing and you get high, you start getting out of breath. Ciao. <laughs> Anyways, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I will see you in my next one. Shout out to Dossier again for sponsoring today's video. And I love you guys. Do you try?